morning 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 everybody michelle is here michelle is here 6 26 2024 on a wednesday you know wednesday is uh i like wednesdays too i like all the days but wednesdays is like a a great break in between the week you know if you uh, a lot of people um uh, i noticed a long time ago most people uh, prefer to work on saturdays and have a day off in the week so that they can get things done you know and so wednesdays used to be one of those days that a lot of, a lot of people would choose but it don't matter anymore because we're so massively overcrowded it doesn't matter what you do you're going to still run into a lot of people everywhere uh, i can remember you know a few decades ago going in a grocery store and being the only one there that's rarely that rarely happens so anyway i thought i'd share that Fix, uh, fixing my lunch and dinner. Got everything simmering on the stove. So I thought I'd come in and talk about something that uh, that came that that um, I mentioned. Uh, you know, I don't know a while ago about innate abilities. You know, innate. I n n a t e. Um, and how you know how important. To recognize that you are you have that type of um, um, reality in, 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 in your personality now I told you that you cannot fool your consciousness and believe that you're more developed than you are okay all that's going to do is frustrate you and so that's fine you know uh, I won't go into that so much now because see what's going to happen the reason I'm putting up all these videos is some people are going to find this in the future. Some are finding it now and some are going to find it in the future because it's a development process. A lot of people are just not going to resonate right away and I don't expect them to. Uh, but I'm going to still put stuff out because it's so weird. Someone I was having an association with in a group, uh, he had done that very same thing. He put out some stuff five years ago. And I just recently found it, maybe a year or so ago. And it was great work. I mean, I, and I said to him, you know, the visualization and everything was fantastic. And I asked him, you know, you know what happened? And, you know, so he ran into some problems, you know, just, I mean, as we all will, with the collectiveness of people, okay? So what he decided to do is just go individually and see if he can connect to people that way or connect to what he connect to his innermost being and that's that was very smart of him because um, I can remember um, paying attention to him years ago and he was so enthusiastic and you know you know how young people are we get enthusiastic and excited and we just want to shout to the rooftops about you know what's what we're doing and what's going on and how we how we are how we want to help people and a lot of people are not are not opening up to that. All right, I'm sure a lot of people are realizing that. Uh, uh Some people are so infused in their beliefs that's like peeling off their skin, literally, um, and figuratively and metaphorically. Meaning, their beliefs are a part of them now. It, their beliefs lives inside of them. It's a part of their organ. It's an organ. You know, you might as well call it a belief is their organ, and their and scientists are going to learn in the future. That yes, certain things can be affixed to your organs and operate as such. Operate as an individual organ or just in connection with your actual organ. We all have known that certain things attached to organs like, you know, like women, we have these fibroid issues. A lot of people have poke, you know, what, you know, get ch checked in their guts for poke. Let me see if I'm, let me just pull that up. You know, stuff in their gut, in their gut where they are forcing you, well, not necessarily forcing you, but uh, uh, applying a lot of guilt to getting, uh, getting your colon clean. There's a lot of uh, uh, covert um, scare tactics with that. Um, and 
uh, where, you know, where every time I, go, I used to go to the doctor, you know, and one thing I liked about my doctor, she was a, a female doctor, um, and we were uh, of like-mindedness, meaning, you know, we want to do everything we can to to uh, make the repairs to our own selves without medication and without this and without all this invasive surgery and this and that and the other. We, you know, we, we like to take it, you know, a lot of people call it a natural approach. Uh, but, you know, but sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, um, have surgery, you know, to fix things. So, so, um, so I wanted to come through this morning and talk about um, innate. And that's um, innate, you know, I-N-N-A-T-E. And I say innately, uh, you know, you have, some of us have these innate, innateness about ourselves, you know, um, where we have, um, and they say it's, it's essentially something that's inherent. You know, in other words, it's, a, um, it's, it's like inborn, you know, you are, it belongs to you, it exists in you, innate ability or innateness or however you want to however you want to pronounce it just look it up and see if you can understand you know where I'm going with this this morning um so what it says here you know when I just type it in here um and again like I said a lot a lot of stuff has been been commercialized and taken over and other people are infusion their beliefs into into words they're infusing their theories and opinions in words and, and and claiming that this is knowledge where they you know where where it doesn't you know it's just a theory and a belief so but innate ability you know is it, i mean it's inherit you know i mean that sounds from what i understand it uh, but philosophers and psychiatrists and you know biologists and all of them are coming in and and uh, kind of uh, pre presenting. There's another one. It says uh, unchangeability. Okay, it's unchangeability. It's something that's it's quality of being natural, inherited. Okay. Now the reason I'm bringing it up is that's true. There are some of us that have these innate. Uh, abilities and that bothers a lot of people as well okay in other words you have these kind of qualities and and abilities about yourself that bothers people that you know that know that but they cannot somehow infuse that into their personality into their into their lives so they that's why a lot of things have been covered covered up and certain theories have been allowed to exist for decades like the fact that uh you know it's being claimed that we came that we came from monkeys and we came from uh those type of primates let me just pull it up that we came from monkeys and and um uh, you know those type of uh um let's see what it says here Say, for example, if I pull up um, monkeys, you know, it's a, you know, that monkeys or, I'm not sure they call them primates or whatever, but there's this, um, this theory and opinion that has existed for decades that we, human beings, come from monkeys. Now, if you think about that clearly and effectively, that sounds ridiculous based on behaviors and actions of monkeys, orangutans, gorillas. There's this theory that that's where we come from. We come from, we, that's where we come from, is gorillas and monkeys and apes, and, which, is, which is BS, okay? But no one wants to accept that, especially in the scientific field. We 
are human beings and if it's traced and, and, and researched properly, it'll be uncovered that actually gorillas come from us or would develop because of our interference. And I'm not going to say any more about that because that's, it's very controversial. A lot of people get upset and get, you know, you know, we, I mean, we have theories and opinions on it that have been lasting for decades and nobody wants to reverse things. It's always let's let's keep the status quo, but nobody wants to think differently, come out of their thinking modes, and, and and make and and realize that's simply what makes sense to me, because if you look at the behaviors and actions of monkeys and gorillas, and look at the behaviors and actions of of human beings, it's, it should be quite obvious that they are mimicking us, not the other way around. Anyway. Consider it, no one has to know. Just think clearly and effectively and realize that people have been lying to you. They have been lying to you. We did not come from gorillas and apes and monkeys. <laughs> they came from us. There's a lineage package, and there's a, a connectiveness of that through, throughout, you know, from decades ago, but it was concealed. I, the reason why it was concealed and, and, and this kind of theory and opinion was pushed forward. It still is illogical to me. But I think that's what happens with people when they get so full of themselves. They want to save face. You know, they put out some theory and opinion and they realize it was ridiculous. And so they have to save face. And, do, what is, and usually when they're saving face, they're creating fraud. Deception and manipulation. And, that, and if, if we are allowed to properly talk to people about you know their intentions and purposes you know sometimes you can you can usually figure that out that they were desperate they wanted and this gives me this brings me back to this breach we had earlier this year about a couple of months ago uh this particular there's a particular individual who just lost his motherfucking mind <laughs> i mean literally figuratively and metaphorically and um I'm not sure if he'll recover. And I say lost his motherfucking mind. I just say that. That's that's the, uh, you know, that's what we say when people are, uh, actually, it's just consciousness damage. This person, uh, something, ha something had to have happened in this person's adolescence and his puberty to cause him to morph himself as he, as he, as he has. And, um, and when he got exposed, that he he went he went I mean he went very very far and uh, caused a lot a lot of damage to himself even though he was projecting it other way you know otherwise so there's a lot of things that are being uncovered and that's fantastic but at the same time if you cannot resonate with it in other words you have not developed yourself enough. You're not. You're gonna miss it as well. You're gonna miss it again, and that's fine. You're gonna miss, as they say, the calling. You know. You you know. You're gonna miss the reconnect. But you know, there's there. You know, that's one thing about evolving. We're doing this forever and and ever and and ever and ever. So there's there's always windows of opportunities, but then sometimes a lot of people have missed a lot of it too. So unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be swimming in an abyss, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, and they're going to have to attempt to re, um, unravel themselves out of it. And that's what beliefs do as well. They, beliefs will, will, will wedge you into a spin. Because it's unprovable, beliefs feel good. You know, it feels good to have a certain kind of belief. You know, like that somebody's... That somebody's uh, looking out for me you know we always believe that somebody outside of us is looking out for us when I t when it's the other way around is what's looking out for you is within you already you don't need another third party but that's going to be a choice but again no one has to know as well that's the beauty of self-will uh, that's the beauty of free will people will ramble about free will until the cows come home you have free will and that's the power it's power 
you know, power, as well as realize that you're nothing, but you're something. You know, it's just that way you have to uh, to continue to build your thinking mode, build your uh, ability to be logical, rational, and reasonable, and having fun with it. I have fun with it, you know, um, but I do get discouraged because I can see the, as they say, see the writing on the wall with people uh, uh, having this belief wedged in them. I'm telling you, it's, it's, a, it's a part of their, you know, it's a part of, a, it's like a, a individual organ beliefs you know it, it created itself from thinking you know and it's just a and it's like a, a ball of energy that's wedged into some people and it's like a part of them and so in and, and time you attempt to remove it it spreads it's just you know if, all you gotta do is think about like cancer you know what's that what's that terminology about cancer you know, it says there's a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth and, and spread. It says cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. That's what beliefs are. That's, that's that metaphor. You know, cancer can be, uh, beliefs can be a metaphor for cancer. Okay. Just think about that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And figure and, and and understand and see if you can figure out where that's going. Okay, I'm telling you about the power and the energy. Okay, so innate ability is you know it's the ability if you just be very kind and gentle with yourself and patient, you can unlock so many things inside of you that you didn't even know exist. And then all of a sudden, bing, you're like, whoa, wait a second, why do why do I understand that? <laughs> Why do I understand her all of a sudden? At first, I thought she was rambling. I didn't know what the hell this girl was talking about or what the hell this woman was talking about. But now everything's is, is, is coming together. Okay? That's that connectedness I'm working on to bring people in. And then that way we can spread things out, you know. And, um, and there are particular people that have this innate ability. I've mentioned it already. They have this essence of the whole they know who they are so you just have to trust that and let it naturally let, let it naturally unravel itself it will with your trust you know with your love your universal love for you for others not just yourself self-love for others too you know and being gentle and kind and, and you know I mean look I get unraveled because I, that's my personality inside I'm good but outside, because a lot of people probably think, okay, is she upset? Is she, you know, trying to figure me out? You're not going to figure me out. <laughs> That's the fun, too, when you get to know yourself. You know, a lot of people are going to still have perceptions of you. They're going to have assumptions of you. They're going to have judgment. That's okay. Let, let them. And sometimes I'll engage with it, you know, just being naturally engaging. But at the, at when, at the end, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm good. I'm 100% good. And I feel good about what I'm doing. That's the main thing. You know, uh, being able to contribute and help. So my videos are going to be up for a while. Unless things change as far as, you know, you know, and everything. Keep in mind, everything is always changing. You know, with artificial intelligence. You know, artificial intelligence can only do so much. You know, and it's up to individuals to figure that out the, the the powers that be are not gonna share it because they know for a fact that artificial intelligence is out of their control however if you build your consciousness up enough you'll be able to work uh, AI will be an assistant to you instead of attempting to conquer you okay AI will be an assistant to you just as it should have been uh, uh, created to do. You know, assist you, not control you, not think for you. And that's the mistake we made. We, we want thing, we want other, uh, we want technology to do the thinking for us. Okay? So, innate ability is, is powerful. It's a powerful uh, factor to consider and to 
cherish that you have it. And you know you do. You have a knowing. There are certain people that you know, you know, you know. But you don't know why you know. And those are the questions that you just have to keep asking yourself. And allow your consciousness to to uh, to open up experiences for you for, for you to know you know because an example of it is you know trusting your instinct you know you, you know you all of a sudden you get a a, a, a a physical reaction to something okay and what I usually do is I say okay is that about me is that about me what I just felt there you know wherever you are if you can do it no one has to know you can do this all internally and make sure you breathe and say, okay, do I need to be concerned about blah, 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 blah. You know, just make sure you're grounded. Make sure everything's cohesive, you know, and, and don't allow your emotions to uh, interfere. Your feelings to interfere. Just see if you can just kind of, like I said, just rest your hand here. Nobody knows what you're doing. And if they ask, they say, I'm just providing myself with some self-care. You know, um, it's, it's probably best to do it when you are alone not when you're lonely there's a difference when you are alone do that or share with your partner what you're doing and i'm sure once your partner realizes what you're doing and see the benefits of it you can do this all together or you can be doing it uh individually but you're in the same safe space doing that and you're and attempting to figure out you know what the hell is going on so there's a lot to learn. That's my point. And that's why I'm leaving these videos here. That way, in the distant, you know, hopefully some of my young relatives will find it. And, you know, because people are going to be kind of isolated in places where no one can get to them for for some reason due to our environment. Hello. Are we paying attention to that? Okay. So there's just a lot of factors that are going to cause a lot of people to sit. For hours, for days, for months, maybe years. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that word out there: innateness or innate ability, or innate, I N N A T E. You know, it's existing, belonging, determined by factors present. In an interview, you know, they say it's native, it's inborn, inherit. It says here also is originating or derived from the mind or the constitution of a intellect rather than from an experience. Okay, I mean, whatever. You know, sometimes there's a lot of rambling stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh, you know, these words are changing, you know what I mean? It's like a natural ability. Some of us have natural abilities. Hello. We just haven't activated them. Okay. And you, in other words, you can't, it, you know, it's there. You just have to activate it. Okay. And it's either there or not. And a lot of us are born with certain things, sort, certain abilities. And most of us are. And it, but it, those abilities are based on just, a, you know, a consciousness level. Some of us are high. Some of us are low. Some of us are in the middle. That's irrelevant, though. Like I said, because you can't fool your consciousness. Your consciousness is not going to allow certain things for you to believe. Okay, what well, your consciousness does and your psyche and all those other components that everybody wants to use, which is, you know, just do the work. But it's going to bring in the experiences. It's life experiences is how you know where you fit in. Okay, so I'll help. A lot of people unravel that too when the time is right. When the time is right. Like some people are uh, disposed to learn certain things. Okay, they have these essential characteristics that are inherent inside of them. Okay, I told you. They're, and that's, that's another word for they have the essence to, to assist, essence to help. They're not... Um, you know, it, it, you know, they work to unravel things and not accept, accept things as is being told to them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that right now. 
I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. You know, go inside yourself. You know, find people that will help you unravel certain things. And then you can soar. You know, you can soar. And, and it's a wonderful feeling, okay? Peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.